Hey y'all, Blade Walker here, playing 7 Days to Die, Alpha 19 Experimental. Looks like we've got ourselves some visitors here in the early morning, so I think we need to take care of them. And then after we take care of our friends, we are going to begin work on our horde base, because it is day 6. Whoa. Damn, that's not good. Dun, 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 dun. I like the suspenseful music. It's pretty cool. Ain't you dead yet? There you go. Now you're dead. Yeah, splat the ground. Looks like we got a little Edgar here. The zombie formerly known as Edgar. Sit down, Edgar. Nope, not gonna take a seat, are you? Whoa, he's running. We're out. Holy crap. He is hauling. Look at that. Look at old fatty go. <laughs> fatty ain't got nothing on me. So, you may have noticed I now have some iron tools. A level 2 iron fire axe and pickaxe. I went ahead and I burned a bunch of iron into the forge and I was able to make some. So now, let's go ahead and take these out of those. Take the yellow out. Take care of old Nancy here. Whoa! Okay, Nancy, I, I don't want you in my face quite like that. Make sure there's nobody else around. Okay, so... What do we got in here? That's the digging one, so modify this. We're gonna put the bunker buster on there. And we're gonna put the tree chopper on there. And then this beast, we don't need no more. Let's go ahead and put the yellow die back on. The... Now we got a claw hammer. So we're getting ourselves going. What do we got? Okay, we got a little bit of food, but not much. Food is definitely an issue right now. Uh, did I have any on the... No, I didn't. Well, looks like I may not have a choice but to simply make some steaks. Not exactly my first choice, but sometimes you don't have much you can do about it. Let's see, one minute, and eh, we'll put one more in there. That should do it. All right, we'll come back. I've got a bacon and eggs I can eat. In fact, I might as well just go ahead and eat it now. Then we're going to take a red tea. Even though, Well, no, I am actually thirsty. I actually drink the red tea quite often because for four minutes it gives you a 15% uh, efficient digestion. And what that does is it reduces your hunger, or it stops your hunger from depleting by 15%. So that's pretty worthy. Especially early game. Alright, so I've marked out an area that I'd like to check over here near Trader Gen. It looks like it might be flat enough for a horde base. So we're going to check that out. Oop, do some wheelies. Although, hey, it's perf perfect timing. I'm going to check out... Oop. I can't stop and not kill Joe. See you later, Joe. Let's see what Ooh, those are all very good. All right. Let's keep going. We'll see what Trader Jim has. Oh, that's like... Trader Joe's is now open. Happy to hear it. The first thing I want to do is check the machine. Eye candy, yes. Hackers, yes. You know what? We'll take your chili, too. We'll take your coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, two hackers. Nice. And then we're going to head on up here and see what old Jen's got for us. I am so glad to see your face. I get lonely sitting by myself all day. Nice. We always need someone to handle the tough jobs. Hurry back soon, and I'll have a nice reward for you. I like the sound of that. Rewards are good. Night Stalker. Bows do 10% more damage at night. 10% more damage to wolves. I know I already checked her stuff, but it's been a couple of days since I've played, and I'm not sure she had anything that was really good. 
And she's got a lot of stuff I'd like, but I just don't have the cash. You know what? I don't think I've ever, well, definitely not recently bought iron. Would you just give me that? We're definitely going to take the iron because I am iron starved right now, sadly. Uh, Grandpa's moonshine. I kind of want to get. We're going to take I hope the you get feeling better. Aw, oh, thanks, Jen. You're a sweetheart. We're going to go ahead and take the wolf book because even though they fixed the issue with wolf spawn spawning, I don't want to take a chance. And there is definitely something wrong with my settings. No? No, everything's where it should be. It's silver. That is just so weird. It's actually kind of cool looking. It's like a shiny silver. All right, so now that we've checked out old Trader Jim, let us see what we have over here. I want a relatively flat area. It doesn't have to be actually flat. Ooh, this is really hilly. Oh, what's that? Is that a crawler? It's got to be a crawler because I don't see it. Oh, poor little crawler. Don't worry, buddy. I'll put you out of your misery. There you go. All right, so where is me bike? This actually looks like a really good spot right here. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. There's no POIs close. All right, let's check the joint out. Let's put this away and grab some of this. And wood frame blocks, that's what I need. All right, let's plot this out. Let's see what we got. You know what? Nothing. I'm gonna pick you up for the moment. Okay. You see what I'm looking for when it's flat? See how there's an elevation change here? See, it's there, and then it's there, and then all of a sudden it's here. You want to avoid building on that. that. And it's not that you can't, of course, but that if you do that, then that means you're gonna have to dig areas out, and that all takes time. And see here, it's not too bad. It's relatively flat. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these stupid little twig things. As well as the chrysanthemums. Alright, oh, another twig. It's kind of weird you can't build on a twig. Or whatever those things are, the little mini trees. All right, so I'm thinking this looks good. We're going to do, I'm thinking, 7x7. Seven seven. And we're not going to do a tower. That's not happening. I'm going to do basically the same design I did on a previous base. Let me think. Did I do that? You know what? It doesn't matter. I don't care if I did it before. I'm doing it again. Because, once again, this is not a permanent base. So two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five. I said five, six, seven. I don't think it. Oop, got a rock there. It shouldn't be too hard making a simple base like this. All right. That was kind of weird. My club flopped around for a second. All right. So we're looking good. I don't see any issues. They can run. Zombies can have can run up and down hills. No problem. What is that? Is that what I think it is? <gasps> it is. Let's see if I can take out the tree. I've been seeing this a lot in Alpha 19 where a node is like right on top of a tree. It's kind of crazy. Oh, it's so nice having a relax. Even if it is guzzling my stamina. It's still nice to have. Alright. We are going to take this out. Partially because I want the coal. Oh. Nah, it's just a construction zombie. I don't care about Sounds like there's another one. Is he the only one? No, well, I guess he is. These guys can be seriously dangerous. Because when they do the enrage thing, they can run really quick. And make it very hard to get away before they get you. Alright, so there is more ore below. Yes, there is. So, well, which I knew there was. So do I have... I do have a coal and nitrate mine there, so I'm not going to mark this one. Otherwise, I totally would. All right. We need 
some wonderful, wonderful blocks. All right, food and water's looking. Actually, our water's a little low. Let's go ahead and drink that. Okay, I think we're good. So what we are going to do is a design that I did on my private world, which actually worked pretty well, and it's the same general design. Oh, I really wish I hadn't done that. It's the same. Oh, never mind. Okay, here we go. So I need the shape block. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Divide this in half. This is another trick that people have, that I've seen other people do, which is quite clever. You split up your uh, items so you can use different items at the same time without having to. Is that it? No, that's side center. That's not what I need. But if you do, if you split up your stacks and you can make different shapes without having to constantly switch between them. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing the shape I need, but that's okay. Wait, 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 wait. I was looking for a different shape. There it is. So we're going to put this there, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is going to be this. And then two, three, four, five, six, and then seven is going to be that. I knew I heard a Frank, or I heard a Frank. Two, three, four, five, six, and then two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so that's the Jenner uh, base. Boy, Frank, you are athletic. No wonder you were a zombie killing machine and, and dead rising. Oh, it's Arlene again. Yeah, I'm going to be taking out a bunch of these trees. In fact, we're going to take this one out now. They do look really nice and purdy, but unfortunately, they make it really hard to see zombies. I mean, the trees have come a long way since the earlier alphas, for sure. All right, we're going to go ahead and upgrade all this stuff. Now, the problem that I had with the first design, or first version of this design, was dogs were able to get through the gap. I managed to figure out how to stop that, but I'm not sure if I can make that block. That's the block I was actually looking for a few seconds ago in the menu, and I didn't see it. It's the one-quarter block, but it's not the side-center one. And if, you wonder, if you're wondering what I mean by side-center, which is what it's called, there it is. What it means is it's, it, the block is on the side, but it's in the center of the side. You see how it's in the center and not on the corners? That's no good for me. I'm hearing noises, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm paranoid. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to check a wood block and see if there's a wood variant, because I have a feeling there is. Nope. Dang it. That's not what I need. There it is. One quarter block. Beautiful. So, what we are going to do is, make sure we can see it. Advanced rotation. And there we go. Now, what this is going to do is prevent zombies for, or uh, dogs from getting in. But if I bend down specifically, I can still easily kill them. And of course, I'll upgrade these to uh, cobblestone. Although, let me... Ooh, I actually wanted to try this one. I'm going to try on face. Let's... Hmm... Okay, I think if I do it like so, okay, if I do it like that, that definitely won't work, because, see, if I put this here, I'm pretty sure a dog can get up through there, and honestly, yeah, that wouldn't help my space at all, or wouldn't help my view, so let's go ahead. Really? Mr. Skater Punk, I'm busy. Go away. Right, let's take a gander at that. Would you beat it? I'm busy. You and your ugly face. Yeah, that's an improvement. Ow! I didn't tell you you could touch me. I'm going to break out the blunderbuss in a minute if y'all don't stop leaving me alone. Okay, so that's actually... I kind of like the way it looks. 
but it definitely doesn't give me any well I, no actually let's see no it doesn't okay yeah the blocks it still counts as a, basically a solid block is there anything else that would be could be interesting let's see I didn't actually mean to choose this block I was I just wanted to look so we could do half blocks maybe hmm half blocks might work let's go ahead and move this so I can actually see all the blocks hmm wood arrow slit and arrow block I actually really like that I think that's cool we could no, I don't think a frame wedge or wedge would do it side center you know what I think we're just gonna go ahead and stick with the blocks although no can I copy shape I think I like this it's essentially the same shape but I think it looks a little better it gives hey don't do that stupid extra swing it just kind of to me it looks better I wonder if I can put another one of these up on top copy shape <laughs> That's probably not a good idea because the zombies will stack up and then they'll get up on the roof. I kind of like the way it looks, though. It's kind of cool. All right, I, I think I might be spending a little bit too much time messing with this, but you know what? It's nice to do something different. It's called a filler, huh? Wood pole, wood pole centered... All right, yeah, I think we're going to go with this. So, copy rotation for this one. And then, there we go. Now, oh, oh no, you can't upgrade this. Well, so much for that idea. Crapple. I didn't know you couldn't upgrade it. I hate when they make blocks that you can't upgrade. It's like, what was the point? I guess because it's called a filler, it's not really designed to be used. Why am I... Oh. Let's get rid of that. That's right, I have these on me. Really? Why are you indenting? You're not supposed to indent. There we go. Alright, stamina is refilled, so let's get rid of these. That's a shame, I really like this. I better double check the wood quarter ones because that's what I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure that you can upgrade the wood quarter. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can't. Uh, thank you. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That is a serious problem. Let me double check. I, I could have very well looked past it side center I can't use a side center hmm no they can get through the flagstone pillars that I already know I guess I could use a half block I know what it was I the way I built it on my private world was I used uh, concrete blocks but that's not an option here because I don't have access to concrete yet all right, I guess we'll try flagstone, which is basically the same thing. Doesn't look as nice, but you know what? It's a temporary base. It'll work. Uh, now, how am I going to do the corners? So actually, before I even bother... Okay, so yeah, this will definitely work. And then, of course, I can easily blaze them with my blunderbuss. So this will work. What I need is... Let's go ahead and do this. This. Until I figure out what I want to do here. I'll just put these for the corners briefly. Alright, and then... There we go. Now we can get rid of these. 
Because if you didn't know, even though it's a half block, it takes up a full block's worth of space, and it's sitting on top of those blocks, so it's perfectly supported. But the question is, what do I... I mean, I guess I could just put a square block there, but... Ooh, there we go. Could I do that? Uh, advanced. Come on, this is ridiculous. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. We're going with that. And they did the dogs definitely can't get in. So let's go ahead and go... So it's this way. That's right, the rotations are always counterclockwise. So this one will be here. Whoa. I love the back rotation. Alright, so now we upgrade all these beasts, and away we go. Now, what's going to be on the next section, above uh, the next block above this, is a solid block. And then above that, we will probably put another solid block, I'm thinking. And on that one, on the side, we're going to put the uh, quote-unquote... Ooh, leveled up. Uh, spider defense. Which, really, you don't... The spider defense isn't what it used to be because they don't climb anymore on the wall. They jump. Okay. So there we go. So now we can do this and this. And we can change these over to this. And then... Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do too high on this. So, you know what? I may as well just go ahead and do it now. I'll have to figure out what I want to do for the corner pieces here. Because we definitely can't leave those open. Because zombies be like, oh, that's a step. Nope, not a step for you, my friend. Now, on this top block, I will probably put wood bars. So the question is, what do I want to do here? Let's uh, see if there's anything that, that could be... No, 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 no. That just says zombie step. That has zombie step written, oop, written all over it. We're not doing that. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but yeah, no. Oop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, sir. What's going on? What the heck? It won't let me... Okay, it's not bringing up the menu for some... Oh, I must have hit a button that disabled the controller. There we go. Okay, so apparently the left control key disables the controller. That's interesting to know. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ooh, these might look interesting. We'll go on face... Sometimes I hate the on face. 90%, 95% of blocks, they work just fine. And then there's that odd, you know what, let's, let's try. Hmm. No, because they can, they can definitely use this as a step. These little bitty bits, I know it, I see it. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of it now. Because I know what will happen. Since I can't see through the blocks, they'll get stuck up there and they'll beat through and they'll fall on top of my head. Now that I think about it, I probably should have put a partial block here so I could see. You know what? Give me just a minute. Okay. I like this new design much better. There is a small issue potentially with it, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. And the problem, or the issue, is dogs can walk, get through these uh, center pillars. However, I'm not too concerned about them stacking up on other zombies because since they're dogs, they will likely come up under here and get stuck and won't climb up. But if they do, yeah, that could be a problem. Now, as for the corners, I'm thinking... I know, I kind of like that. 
In fact, I do like it. We're going with it. Screw it. I don't care. Whatever. I do what I want. Now, dogs could, of course, get through here for sure. But again, I don't think it's going to be an issue. It could be, and it's like everything else. We'll find out on Horde Night now, won't we? So let's go ahead and upgrade all this stuff. And then I think that's probably going to be the Horde base mostly finished. For the first Horde Night... I'm not even remotely concerned. I've got my pistol. I got my blunderbuss. We should have no issues at all with zombies. Getting in, breaking through, killing me. Nah. Should be just fine. Do not foresee an issue. The only issue might be how to get in and out, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'll just pull up and grab the frames from the inside. I don't know. I just... I was going to put something simple, like maybe poles or something, or maybe even the same quarter blocks here vertically, but then I was like, you know, I haven't used pillars in so long. Alright, double check that I didn't miss anything. It does not appear so. So let's go ahead and get these put in and then upgraded. There we go. I think it's one more. Yeah, I really like that. It's different, you know? I mean, it's a tiny detail, but it adds a little bit of character to the base. So I like it. We'll give it a shot. Worst come to worst, we can always tear it down later. Yeah, I think that looks pretty darn cool. Although, now that I think about it, the spider defense is probably going to... No, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I just... Maybe I won't put a wood bar on each side of, this cor of each corner. It's not like I need to. So that looks pretty good. I'm very happy with that. But, as usual, we have run out of time. So, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestion, like, or subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. Stay safe. Don't forget to back up your game saves. And, well, that'll be it. Later, guys.